going to edit the papers that you have been doing. As you remember uh, what the difference between revising and editing is that revise we're looking at changing the wording and making the sentence structure and the information we give much stronger using the acronym ARMS, adding sentences and words, removing unneeded words or sentences, moving sentences or words, are substituting better words for words that we might have. So we revised our papers yesterday and now we're going to edit them and we have the acronym CUPS. Capitalization, usage, punctuation, and spelling. So what are we going to do for capitalization? Check carefully to make sure that every sentence begins with a capital letter. And also make sure that proper nouns begin with uh, capital letters, like proper names of things, uh, names of songs, names of places. These kinds of things also begin with a capital letter. Make sure that things aren't capitalized that shouldn't be. Word usage. Make sure all verbs are in the same tense. For example, we went to the movies. I like the movie very much. Really, it should be, we went to the movies, past tense, we went, like yesterday. I liked the movie very much, past tense. Make sure that all sentences are a complete thought and contain a noun and a verb. Punctuation. Quotation marks were needed. The writing has no fragments or run-on sentences, periods, question marks, ex exclamation marks, and commas are used correctly. And uh, remember, we've, worked it, we've been working really hard on um, your uh, quotation marks and uh, where to put the punctuation with a quotation. And we've been working really, really hard on commas. And so uh, make sure that you follow all rules for punctuation and commas. Spelling. All word, words are spelled correctly. And the right homophone is always used. We've been working on homophones. And remember, when you're looking at there, there, or there, make sure you use the right one. Two, two, and two. Your and yours, its and its, whose and whose. Remember these last two, the its and the whose, is the um, apostrophe is only used when you're trying to say it is or who is. When you're using, showing that they own something, that's the only time you don't use the apostrophe. So make sure you use the right homophone and that your partner did all of these things correctly. Okay, so what is the assignment? Use the edit checklist that you will be given out and check your narr narrative carefully. Then have your partner check your writing and finally check your partner's writing. We're, uh, today we're making our final draft of this paper <coughs> that you will turn in. So make sure you revised it and edited and it's just as perfect as you can make it. Thank you.